Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Steve Felkner. Um, he doesn't give his call sign here. He says, how do I adjust the SWR on the ASU FT991A? It shows high SWR. Before we jump into this question, I want to pay special thank you to Jack Cochran. Jack is a new patron of mine via patreon.com. You, you too can become a patron of this channel by going to patreon.com slash ke0og and find a method that works for you. Um, let's talk about this a little bit because uh, clearly he's approaching this kind of for the first time and is not sure what to do. He says his radio shows a high SWR and how can he adjust that? Well the SWR is standing wave ratio and it is a measure of the amount of energy that it's has to do with the amount of energy sent to the antenna and the amount that bounces back. And if you're measuring it using the radio, you are measuring the combination of the feed line and the antenna. It's because the feed line can change the SWR too. Okay, now if the SWR at the antenna is good, very good, then it doesn't matter what length of feed line you use. But if you have a fairly high SWR, um, odd multiples of a quarter wave can cause some real issues, but that's not usually the case. So we adjust the SWR by adjusting the antenna, assuming your feed line's okay. And that means making sure that the antenna is the right length. Um, or that you, if you've got a commercially built antenna, that it is installed according to the instructions. Also make sure that there are no shorts or opens anywhere in the antenna. Now, uh, a common problem that I've had with the antennas is if you tighten the connector, say you've got an antenna that's got an SO239, you tighten the coax on that, with time, as the wind blows that thing around, it will slowly loosen that, and sometimes you need to re-tighten that. Sometimes you need to take it apart, clean it, and, and re-tighten it. In every case, your outdoor connectors should, ideally, be waterproof. Now, I live in an area that gets very little rain, so sometimes I let that go for a while, but if you're on the east coast or the south or up by the lakes, you're, you get a lot of rain, and that rain can seep into those connectors and cause a little bit of corrosion in there. They can also soak along the braid, which just acts like a wick for water. Okay, so the, there are a number of questions. Has the SWR ever been good? By good, I mean under 1.6 to 1 okay, or under 2 to 1, but under 1.6 to 1 ideally, okay. If it has been good and is now not good, you're probably looking for a single point failure. Some coax has become loose, it can become open, something has caused it to short, um, or there could be a cut in the cable uh, ground squirrels are famous for chewing through a coaxial cable. Uh, I don't know why there's nothing in there nourishing, but the squirrels seem to think there is. If you have a dummy load, use a short piece of cable between it and the radio and make sure that the radio shows a one-to-one -one SWR. That way you're sure it's not in the radio. Note that the FT991A has an antenna tuner in it, but that's a touch-up tuner. It will only take an SWR of about three to one and take it down to close to one to one, okay? So then start um, with your cable. If you can, and I've done this, bring your antenna down, unscrew the coax, 
screw it into the uh, dummy load. This is my dummy load right here. It's a Heath Cantena. It'll handle up to 200 watts continuous. And if you can transmit into this and have If you can transmit into that and have a one-to-one -one SWR, you know it's not your coax line, okay? Then take a look at the antenna itself. Make sure that nothing has broken. On a lot of dipoles, they bring the wires together. One wire comes down on the... Uh, one wire comes down on the shield side. The other wire is connected to the inside uh, conductor side. Or you may have a little bell in there. Make sure nothing is broken. Uh, if something is broken, your SWR will go to, through the roof. Make sure that nothing has uh, fallen on the antenna, uh, like a branch or something, or that it may have been broken, stretched out, or so on. One problem with using house wire for antennas is that house wire does stretch. And so every so often, you know, Look around, find where your lowest SWR is, and if it's below the band, that may mean that your antenna has stretched a little bit, so you want to shorten it up. If you are working with a commercial vertical antenna uh, and you've got everything set up, make sure that it is completely set up properly, uh, that there are no shorts that have developed Things haven't uh, gotten loose and come to touch each other. All the uh, screws and, and nuts and bolts are tight. Uh, and make sure that your connection to the antenna is good. Also, you will want to put out a bunch of radials on that uh, antenna. Some antennas are made to be put up about 10 feet in the air uh, with no radials, but they do have large counterpoises. Make sure that those work. Uh, in the extreme, I found that I had trouble with my HF9V some years ago. So I took the antenna apart down to the last nut and bolt and put it back together, carefully cleaning everything and using that uh, little grease they have that's got the copper dissolved in it. So it will keep the pulse from binding with each other and at the same time make very good connection. I got the thing put back together and its performance was far better than it was before. Uh, a lot of the more modern antennas like the AV640 and so on uh, have lots of pieces so there's lots of screws that can become less than tight. You may want to go through a retuning exercise for the antenna and see what you can do. Now this is all prefaced on the idea that at one time in the past you had a good SWR and you were doing okay. So something changed with your antenna system or feed line system, and you're gonna go look for what changed. Often, and I have found this, I know this is surprising, but just going out and loosening and then retightening the connector on the coax can uh, really help reseat that connection and make it better. So those are some of the things that you can do. Remember the SWR, although you measure that with your, uh, your box, your 991A, uh, it is measuring something that it's looking at. It's looking at the feed line and the antenna. And if that SWR is too high, you look in the feed line and the antenna for the solution. Um, if it is some unusual situation, you can get yourself a wide range tuner. Don't use the internal and external tuner at the same time but it's better to fix your antennas. Now I have an amplifier, a 500 watt amplifier, and I do not have a high power tuner. So therefore I have to make sure that all of my antennas are less than two to one, hopefully less than 1.6 to one SWR, so that I can use that antenna uh, or that amplifier without a problem. Okay, I hope that answers your questions. Lots of things to go take a look at. Maybe one of those will work for you. So there you have it. Please, if you'd like to help support this channel, go to decastler.com support 
and pick a way that works for you. And until we next meet, 73.